Well, it's summertime and I hope many of you are lathering on that sunscreen, but is there evidence that it can actually be absorbed in the bloodstream? And if so, is that dangerous? Matt Gregory takes a look in tonight's Verify. Verify is about adding context to the viral claims circulating online. And this one sounds a little iffy. Sunscreen in your bloodstream? At least that's what some people online are claiming, saying that some of the chemicals in your sunscreen are seeping under your skin and into your blood. That sounds scary, but let's take a step back and verify this one step by step with help of our sources. The Food and Drug Administration and Dr. Adam Friedman, Professor and Chair of Dermatology and the George Washington University. Let's start with, is there evidence that sunscreen can get absorbed into your bloodstream? Well, that's exactly what FDA scientists wanted to find out in two studies, one in 2019 and one in 2020. In 2019, four sunscreens were tested on 24 people to see whether high levels of these four ingredients were found in their plasma. In 2020, the study grew. Four sunscreens tested on 48 people to assess three of the original ingredients plus three more. On their website, the FDA says more data is needed, but so far, the 2020 study showed that all six ingredients were absorbed into the bloodstream after just one use, and that once absorbed, they can linger in your body for a while. The caveat is the participants used a lot of sunscreen. But yes, we can verify there is some evidence that sunscreen ingredients can seep into your blood. The next logical question is, is this dangerous? At this point, we still don't know. In early 2020, the FDA said more data was needed. Well, when we say found in the bloodstream, we're talking about nanomolar concentrations. That's billionths of a molar. So very, very small concentrations. Dr. Friedman says that doesn't inherently mean it's dangerous. The purpose of these studies was to show that, the, that we can actually detect such low levels in the blood. It did not translate into any disease or concern, but that's how these studies were interpreted, that if you apply sunscreen at optimal use, because that's what they did, they put a ton all over the body multiple times a day. No one is actually doing that. You can get some in your bloodstream. So it's still unknown just what the safety takeaway is. Last question, in light of all of this, should you stop wearing sunscreen? Our sources say no. The fact is, the World Health Organization has deemed ultraviolet radiation as a known carcinogen. A study showing that sunscreen may get in your blood a little bit with no evidence saying that that then leads to, to problems with health or ultimately disease down the road does not mean you should stop using sunscreen. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.